اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان انزلناه في ليله القدر وما ادراك ما ليله القدر ليله القدر خير من الف شهر تنظل الملائكه والروح فيها باذن ربهم من كل امر سلام يا حتى مطلع الفج Assalamu alaikum respected brothers and sisters and thank you for joining me today on what is the fifth you know, it's already been five weeks fifth of our weekly Farsi classes Alhamdulillah Inshallah this class won't take up too much of you guys' time and then again I truly truly appreciate everyone joining in and being so eager to learn this blessed language also on, part of, on behalf of me and the crew I want to wish a joyful Eid and Bahila Mubarak to you guys Um, before I begin today, I'd like to quickly share a hadith by Imam Baghir alayhi salam. Verily, every creature of the heavens and the earth asks forgiveness for the seeker of knowledge, even the fish in the sea. We can see from this hadith that the one who seeks knowledge is truly, truly, truly a distinguished member of society. Since even their sleep is worship, their prayers hold more rewards. The time they spend seeking knowledge counts as worship. The time they spend seeking knowledge counts as worship, like I said, and all the creatures of the sky and the sea, pray for them and seek forgiveness on their behalf. So please, please, brothers and sisters, take this chance and pay attention to these classes. For surely Allah has sent us all an opportunity and has created a light in our hearts to have given us the desire to seek this knowledge. Inshallah, may Allah make this path of learning easy for us and use it in a way to seek nearness to Him and proximity to Him. May he notice all our continuous efforts and reward us for them and keep us on the right path. May we be part of the 313 alongside our beloved Imam. Okay, to start off this week's class, we're going to have a little refresher from last week's, last week's class, which was on the topic of places, locations. And I mention this every week, but I'm going to mention it again. I'm going to mention it weekly that, guys, A few days after class, more than two days after class, a poll does go up on that Telegram group chat on between two topics. So you guys can choose what you want to learn. So it's not just us from our side just picking and choosing. You guys pick what you want, two topics, whichever one you're more comfortable to, which one you're eager to get exposed to. This week, for example, the two topics were transportation, transport, and jobs. Transport, transportation, and then jobs. Uh, transport got the most votes. Actually, I was pretty sure it was close. It was like 51% to 49%, something like that. Hence, this week's class will be on transportation in Farsi. And then with that, we'll start. Bismillah. Share my screen. Let's start off. We have, which, like last week, a quick run through of our fourth lesson, the previous lesson, and then we'll hop into our lesson for this week, inshallah. Starting off, we have Khane. Khane, which is house. Madrasa, Madrasa, school, Makaze, Makaze, shop, Ketab Khane, Ketab Khane, library, restaurant, 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 Bimaristan, Bimaristan, hospital, Furudga, Furudga, airport, Masjid, Masjid, mosque. Just like um, if you look at number five, number eight, and number nine, It's a lot like the word in English. It's just in Farsi, like I said, it's a little sweetener. It's a little bit, a little touch is added to the end of that word, in the middle of the word. For example, number nine, instead of bank, in Farsi, it's bank. 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 Number 10, Sahel. Sahel. Beach. Daftar. Daftar. Office. Kalantari. Kalantari. Police station. Musafir Khane, Musafir Khane, Hotel, Baqibash, Baqibash, Zoo, Estakh, Estakh, Swimming Pool. Here's another one, Park. In English, it's Park. Farsi, it's Park. Park. As you guys see, transliteration right in the middle is literally the same thing as well, just that in the pronunciation, it's a little bit, just a little touch on that A, it's Park. It's dragged on a little bit more. Park. 17. Pompe Benzin. Pompe Benzin. Pompe Benzin. 
And then just like I, for those of you who might remember, some may not, so I'll just give you another fresh review. Number 17, this is one of them, well, one of those words that, for example, if you were to transliterate that those to translate those two words, pump and benzene, they don't add up to gas station. For example, pump is pump, like a gas pump, and benzene is gas. So you would say the translation, just reading off those two words, if someone who wasn't exposed to proper Farsi, they would think would be gas pump. But no, in Farsi, pump and benzene, they both refer to a gas station, for example. Number 18, we have Barzishka, Jim, Barzishka, and the last one, Estadium. Estadium, stadium. Looking down to our phrases. We have, where are you going? I am going home. Koja miri, man bakhane miravam. Koja miri, man bakhane miravam. Where is the school? It is on the right. Madrasa kojast. Madrasa kojast. On Samtarastas. On Samtarastas. Madrasa kojast. On Samtarastas. Just a quick run through with just the Farsi for you guys. Just so the words are bouncing around in your head. The pronunciation is clear and thorough. Khane, khane, madrasa, maqaze, kitab khane, restaurant, bimarestan, furudka, masjid, bank, sahel, daftar, kalantari, musafir khane, baqibash, istakh, park, pump benzin, barzishka, istadiyum. کجا میری؟ من به خانه میروم. مدرسه کجاست؟ آن سمت راست است. Now, these phrases are just English with the two because they're a little bit more heavy. Where are you going? کجا میری؟ من به خانه میروم. I'm going home. مدرسه کجاست؟ Where is the school? آن سمت راست است. You can say آن مدرسه سمت راست است. Either one works. It is on the right referring to the school. That will wrap up our recap. And also, guys, one more thing is... Um, don't know if you guys can see my face, but uh, just over my voice. One more thing is that uh, Wednesdays, every Wednesday, maybe Wednesdays, whichever day I'm free, actually, to be honest. One day I'll be free throughout the week, and I'll be contacting the organizers, and I'll be telling them so I can get in touch with you guys. If you guys have any questions in terms of pronunciation, if you guys want to practice your words, get thorough, feel solid, feel confident in your Farsi pronunciation, I will be free one day a week. And it's just Keep active in that Telegram group chat. Just keep your eyes on that Telegram group chat because we update things. We send daily, nish- we send weekly nasheeds, and there's that one day where I'm available to help you guys, inshallah. And that will move on to our fifth Farsi course of the week, which is on transportation. I think this week we have a reduced amount of words. Yeah, 16 words because I had another phrase. There's just a lot of ways you can vocal, uh, just a lot of phrases to go with this topic. So I'm just I throw in another one for you guys to get exposed to. So like I said, the goal of this course is to just expose you guys to the basics of Farsi. So you guys have something to build upon for those who want to truly, truly, truly pursue Farsi in the future. This is a very, very, very good foundation that the group has set up. Alhamdulillah, the organizers have been working very, very hard. The group has set up just for you guys to get a good foundation, a good understanding of this beautiful language. Because truly, um, many people say, many genuine Farsi speakers say that you won't understand many bases of religion without learning the Farsi, for example, because may, most of our Ayatollahs, most of our uh, main speakers or scholars, many of their writings, the main, main Ayatollahs, for example, are all in Farsi. And to be able to analyze and learn and do tafsir of their works, which their works are works of arts, and alhamdulillah, and we're blessed to have those, as you have to truly understand Farsi. It's easy as that. Just understand Farsi and it opens up your perspective on Islam as well. Starting on for this week, we have number one, we have machine. This is going to be mainly transportation, just cars, vehicles, or ways and forms of getting around town, for example. Number one, we have machine, machine, car. Two, we have have a pay ma, have a pay ma, have a pay ma, airplane, motor cyclet, motor cyclet. Motorcyclet, motorcycle. For this one, uh, motorcyclet is the phrase that's because of motorcycle. You see, either in the cyclet at the end. Usually, motor, uh, a motorbike or motorcycle is referred to as motor. It's called plain motor in Farsi. Motor. Moving on after that, we have docharche. Docharche. Bicycle. Docharche. So we have autobus. 
autobus, bus, autobus. So that we have istgahe autobus, istgahe autobus, a bus stop, istgahe autobus. Let's just get these, uh, translate these words word by word. This one, for example, is not actually like the gas pump one, where the two Farsi words translate to a different word, meaning as referred to what the word is stating. This one here, we have actually the translation is word by word here. Istka is stop and autobus is bus. Istka in Farsi is stop in general, a place where you stop. And you can put autobus as you see two words down, which I'll move on. Um, Istka autobus is bus stop. Number seven, we have atar. Atar. Train, Qatar. Moving on to number eight. This is what I was talking about. East Qatar. Qatar. Train station. East Qatar. Just like number six, East Qatar, referring to the bus stop, train stop, train station. Moving on after that, we have Qayyak, which is boat. Qayyak. Qayyak. Boat. Yeah, we have helicopter. 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 These next two words, just like the words bunk and park in Farsi, sound very, very, very similar to the English word. It's just, like I said, there's a little touch somewhere in between that word that differentiates it between the Farsi and the English. We have here, for example, like I said, number 10, the English word is helicopter. Number Farsi is helicopter. Moving on to number 11, we have taxi. Taxi. And the English being taxi. Taxi. Not much of a difference. Taxi. Going on to number 12, we have autobuse madrasa. Autobuse madrasa. School bus. Autobuse madrasa. Madrasa. School. Autobus bus. Autobuse madrasa for new school bus. The 13, we have kamiyun. Kamiyun. This, um, so we have our regular big trucks, for example, the ones that we can unload loads upon the back but um what we're referring to here is mainly an 18 wheeler when you talk about a commune you're talking about an 18 wheeler carrying storing maybe loads of boxes and transferring them from one city to another that's what commune refers to mainly commune truck 18 wheeler then we have ambulance 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 another one of those words that sound a lot like the english ambulance ambulance Moving on to that, we have here, this refers to the whole like subway slash subway slash metro station, for example, that underground train that carries you throughout the city. We have metro, metro, subway, metro, metro. And number 16, another one of those words sound a lot like the English. Tractor, 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 tractor. And that does our words and that's our phrases. We have three phrases today. Um, starting off with the first one, we have, does the car work? Yes, the car does work. Aya machine car mikonad. Aya being does. Machine referring to car. Car mikonad. Work. Does the car work? Mikonad, the first thing, does it work, basically. It work. Um, aya machine car mikonad. Does the car work? Yes, the car does work. Bale, yes, machine car car mikonad does work. Bale, machine car mikonad. Yes, the car does work. Now, number two, we have Are we taking an airplane or the train? Aya savare havapema mishavim ya qatar. Aya means are we again? Savar means seating in, basically like taking, seating in, whichever form of transportation you're taking. Hava Pema, when you guys saw in the words, means airplane. Mishavim means another form of like, or like, are we going to be seating in? Ya is or. Ya refers to or. Qatar. Aya Savar Hava Pema Mishavim, we say taking the airplane, seating in the airplane. Ya Qatar. Or the train. Are we taking an airplane or the train? Ma atara mikiri. We will take the train. Ma atara mikiri. Ma referring to we. Atar referring to the train. Ra mikiri will take. Ma atara mikiri. We will take the train.
Moving on to number three, we have, is this a fast bicycle? Referring to transportation, or forms of transport or movements using vehicles. Um, the two words fast and slow come up a lot, so I thought I'd throw this into the mix as well. Is this a fast bicycle? Aya in docharche sari asked, Aya is Aya is used a lot. You can use it in many different ways. It's a very flexible word. When you want to ask questions, for example, like do we, are we, is this, that is for later on, weeks, maybe even months later, if we dig into grammar. That's, um, but yeah, as you guys can see, I used Aya at the start of all three. It's because it has that flexibility to open up many different questions. Aya in docharche sari asked, is this a fast bicycle? Aya in docharche sari asked. Aya in is this docharche bicycle sari asked, which is, is it fast? Aya in docharche sari asked. Nah, no. In docharche, this bicycle, aram asked, is slow. Aya in docharche sari asked. Nah, in docharche aram asked. No, this is a slow bicycle. So let's go through the pronunciation with the definition one more time. Number one, we have machine, machine, car, have a payment, have a payment, airplane, motorcyclet, motorcyclet or motor, motorcycle, dochache, dochache, bicycle, autobus, autobus, bus, istgah autobus, istgah autobus, bus stop, qatar, qatar, train, istgah qatar, istgah qatar, train station. So we have qayak, qayak, boat, helicopter, 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 taxi, 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 autobus madrasa, autobus madrasa, school bus, camion, camion, truck, ambulance, 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 metro, 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 subway, tractor. Tractor. Just a quick run through the forest one more time. Machine, have a payma, motorcyclet, motor, dochache, autobus, istgah autobus, qatar, qatar. Sorry, I kind of mixed up with the country there. Qatar, istgah qatar, qayak, helicopter, taxi, autobus, madrasa, camion, ambulance, metro, tractor. I say these phrases because I want to go over the English as well with you guys. Does the car work? Aya machine car me konad. Yes, the car does work. Bale machine car me konad. Aya machine car me konad. Bale machine car me konad. Are we taking an airplane or the train? Aya sabara hava peyma mi shavim ya qatar. We will take the train. Ma qatar ra mi girim. Aya sabara hava peyma mi shavim ya qatar. Ma qatar ra mi girim. Is this a fast bicycle? Aya in docharche sari ast? No, this is a slow bicycle. Na, in docharche aram ast. Aya in docharche sari ast? Na, in docharche aram ast. And that wraps up our fifth Farsi class. And there are any questions? Um, so I'm just looking through this. Um, yes. I think someone does have a question. I'm just going to unmute them. Um, mm -hmm. and you can... um, so I'm sorry. I was wondering, how do you pronounce bicycle? Could you pronounce that Bicy identically? Bicycle is pronounced as docharche. So I'm going to go again. Bicycle is pronounced as docharche. Perfect. Um, I'm just going to give it another minute just for mm -hmm. any Yeah, if you guys have questions, feel free. If you guys, anyone wants to practice their Farsi, feel free. Don't be shy. So what this is for, just to give you guys a good basis, foundation, so you guys can go out, you know, use that on friends, maybe just say, you know, Farsi, this, Farsi, these words, pronounce it properly, give you guys a thorough pronunciation, just expose you guys to the overall beauties of this language. Martial arts, very, very beautiful language. And like I said once before, I'll be free once a week for pointers, for tips, for anyone wants to pronounce help practice pronunciation with me just keep your eyes on that telegram group chat please 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 be active on that and look because we do also send our media our media providers send very very beautiful sheets throughout the week just keep an eye on that
Uh, was it, someone just asking the pronunciation mm-hmm. for the country Qatar versus the word that we just went over. Okay, okay. So, yeah, guys, sorry about that. Um, the train is Qatar, and the country here is Qatar. Qatar. It's very, very similar. It's just like I said again. Farsi has the differentiates on the way you just express it, uh, the way it rolls off your tongue. It'll be Qatar is train, and then the country is Qatar. Qatar. Hopefully that answered your question. So I don't think anyone has any other questions. Um, other than that, Sounds we good. can continue from next week. Uh, I think next week's our sixth lesson. Uh, inshallah, we might have a. We might have a guest Farsi speaker. Exactly. Yeah, so we might have a special guest next week, so it'll be great if you guys join next week as well. Um, other than that, I have nothing else to say. Was it you? Uh, I just have one more saying. Yeah, I mean, the group's been working hard to keep these classes entertaining, keep them a little twisty. And like um, say I mentioned, uh, we are trying to look into getting a, not just, he's not anybody, he's actually, a, if we can get him, he's a famous alum. Now you, some of you guys may know him. And if not, you guys can, after exposure to him, go on, search him up. He's all over the web. He delivers very, very, very informative speech, conveys Islam and just our message in very, very well way. And inshallah, we're trying to get that set up to you guys because seeing this and seeing me vocalize it, yes, that helps. It helps greatly. But seeing two native Farsi speakers communicate, that also is a lot you can take away from. And so we're working on that, inshallah. Inshallah, we'll be able to sort that. And with that, look forward to seeing you guys next week. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.